Hello and welcome Morning. back to Digging the Coast 365. Um, 15th century John's brought me somewhere special. Now, Paul Dark, have you heard? I just spit again, I did that the other day, didn't I? Sorry about that. Paul Dark, can you remember the programme Paul Dark? You know, you've got two series out now. I don't mean this one, I mean the original one from the 1970s. Paul Dark. This is the house. This is the house. Someone lives there and it's private. There's a big sign saying private, so we've got to watch what we're saying. Do you want to add anything before I show some pictures? Um, is there anything else to say about it? Yeah, this is Ross Poldark's house in the original series. Ross um, Poldark. Speak up, speak up. So Ross Poldark. <clears throat> Ross Poldark's house. In the original series, yeah. The main character. That's correct. It's a very old manor, is this? You can date it pretty much from, from the chimney. Exactly. I don't know if you know that. Uh, 15th century John, but you can usually tell the date of a house from its chimney. This is probably, I'd guess, about three to four hundred years old. At, le at least. Well, probably. no, it is. It's, it it's, is. it's three to four okay. hundred years yeah. old. So this is Ross, what's his last name? Poldark. Ross Poldark's house in the original Poldark. There's no one living here, I thought there was. It's derelict, which is such a shame. If you want it to, certainly is. If you want to buy Paul Dark's house, get an offer in. That fireplace. That's beautiful. Right, 15th century John, you've got something in your hand there, and this is quite exciting. Um, known for tin is Cornwall, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and tin copper. mining. And what? And copper. And copper. Tin and copper so mining. Um, but you found something, didn't you? Yes, I did. Let's now, have a look at this. Something I wasn't aware at the time. I'll have to be that way around. Oh yeah, I'll have to go over <laughs> here for the thing. Speak up, sir. Something I, I wasn't aware about myself. I just thought this was a lump of lead. Lead? Yeah, and I found it. Nearly turfed it in the scrap pile. Um, it's, it was found in the no, I'm just in, in the hail area. Um, when I bought well, it I home. went to hail yesterday and it's rubbish. It, it, oh, it's horrible. Anyway. Absolutely terrible. So you took this home and I was looking at it, cleaned it up and thought, well, okay, I don't think it is lead. So I just uh, sliced the end off, polished it up and lo and behold, a silver nugget. A silver nugget. Is From that what it's called, a nugget? A nugget of it silver. Will be. Yeah, it is. It's a nugget, isn't it? Look yeah, at the nearly, size of this. Nearly four ounces. Four ounces, a big pile of silver. Silver nugget, look. Look at that! Look how silver it is and cool. It's like it's like a mirror. It's like a mirror. Beautiful. So yeah, hopefully, I'm gonna find when I get round to that part, uh, I'm gonna find loads of silver nuggets. Yeah, yeah at least that big. At least that big. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Well done. Right. What else is there? Right. 15th century John. Uh, where have you brought us now? What's this place? Now this is Wheel Owls. Um, or ah, wheel owls. That's correct. It, it looks like that. This is wheel owls out of the new series of Paul Dark. Is that right? Exactly. And if you watch ah. that, it's called Wheel Leisure in the series. Yeah, it is. It's called Wheel Leisure, but it's actually wheel owls. Owls, or owls, as they say. Correct. Locally. Now I know a lot about this place, John. Right. Carry on. I'll then. tell you all about it. Uh, I'll just show the viewers the place first. If you don't if you don't know what Paul Dark is by the way, it's a television series, a very good one, a uh, good drama series if you like that kind of thing. And this is the mill they use in the first, mine. the mine they use in the first series. Second now, series. second series. <laughs> Will you shut up? <laughs> now come on, you've got to get these things correct, you know. I am getting know. it right, I am getting it right. In the series, they actually, there was a flood in, in the series, okay, if you watch it. Now, in 1893, there was actually a flood here. So whether they've based it on the facts of this mine, yes. I don't know. Correct. Yes, they have, I think. Uh, I'm sure John sure. will agree. And in that accident, there was actually 19 men and one boy who died. Um, they were mining away and they dug through into somewhere they shouldn't dig into. Water came in and it drowned them all. From a neighbouring mine, yeah. They were From a neighbouring mine, which, great. yeah, I'm, I was going to add that bit in, I know Good, that. I'm glad about that. So, such a shame, such a sad uh, bit of history. But yeah, if you watch the Poldark series, it sort of touches on that. 
and the views are spectacular. I'll try and throw you some views in. I'll, I'll take some on my other camera and throw them in because it is beautiful. So this is the actual mine shaft. Um, now if you have a look up here, it's actually in a bit of ruin, the top of it's come off and everything, it's a bit battered, the chimney top's missing. Now in the TV show, it's, it's showing this as a working mill and in fantastic mine. condition. I declare the Wheel Leisure Mine open. Yeah. It's all done through, what do they call it, C CGI. CGI. They just make it look as if it's in perfect condition, but it's not. Now what you would have had in the olden days is like a wooden frame coming over here, and you'd have like a lift type thing which would lower people into the mine. I know everything about this because uh, I'm a professional. The very far mine over there, John says that uh, they were mining there when he was at school. They were still mining in that one. I beg to differ. They hadn't even started building that when you were in school. <laughs> okay. That's correct, actually. Yeah. 15th century, John. That's correct. So whilst they were filming Poldark, there was actually part of Poldark which was wrong. It shouldn't have been in there. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Let me just try and zoom in for you. Can you see the, f where is it, where is it? Big wall there with the a big, big wall. mound running where? down to the right. Somewhere over here, you can't see it through this lens, sorry. Uh, you can see it in Poldark and you shouldn't because it's a World War I rifle range unless they knew something back in Poldark days um, before World War I, I don't know. But you've got another rifle range here from World War One. The target came up out of that hole. Big, big target. Oh, this, target. This that was there to catch the bullets. And this is where, well, there'd be men down here. There is men up. down there. I can see them. There's two of them over there, look. Oh, they're a bit small. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's I... me. It's me. It's me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where the target would come up and they would fire at that from over there. Just in front yep. of the engine house. They'd fire from over there at a target here. Somewhere. And they'd, they'd miss, they'd miss, let's face it. And this is where an, ammo, an ammo store from World War One, And a hill fort. And where's the hill fort? It's that big round thing there made out of granite. Here, doorway. Oh, is this the hill fort? All oh, right, yeah, big circular thing. That's the hill fort. Iron Age, did you say? Iron, Iron Age, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. And over there you've got the most beautiful view. That's the prisons behind the Cape Cornwall. Cape Cornwall. So now we're actually inside one of the Poldark mines. Wheel Leisure from the latest series. Wheel Leisure, or its real name, Wheel Owls. Wheel Owls. Wheel Owls, Owls as they say locally. Now, I was thinking as we were driving here, you know, they were looking for tin. What does tin look like when it comes out of ground? Now, we're going to answer that question for you because I'm really pleased he did this. He's actually brought some tin with him. Yeah, Bless him. Right. Now, this is probably 15th century tin. Let's have a look at your tin. Now, that is a... Wow, it's heavy, isn't it? It certainly is. When you think of tin, is Things made out of tin, like a tin tin. Tin can, yeah. A tin can is very light. Solder. Old that solder. That is really heavy. It's like the weight of lead. Fantastic. That Ooh. is a piece I've smelted already. Oh, he's That's smelled that. Metal. What does it smell of? <laughs> what does it smell of, John? Actually, if you, yeah, you get it on your fingers, it does smell a bit. You rub it, yeah, it does smell. That's beautiful. What did you do with that for, then? Just as an experiment? It's actually scraps I've found detecting. 
and yeah. just little bits and bobs, you know, from old mining areas. And I've cleaned it up, and melted it, and going to re repurpose it. The word I invented the other day, remember? Repurpose and uh, turn it into, you know, some sort of work of art. You've you've done a really good job there. You should be very proud of that. That's beautiful. I certainly am. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. And something Tim, else. Something else. Go on. That was mined here. Mined here. Copper. There is a native that. copper ingot. Nugget. It's a nugget. Oh, nugget. It's not an ingot, it's a nugget. No, it's not an ingot. You're quite right this time. That is a nugget. It is an, a nugget of copper. That and that is, was found over Solo Way. I'll tell you where. You, I'll tell you where that all found. That all found uh, Solo Way. Was that John? Solo. Solo, the Solo where we were the other day. Yeah. Trehillis and Tune Castle. Very near there in in a field. Yeah, I know. That's what I just said. That, that's correct. That's beautiful. And if you look at it, actually, it looks a little bit. Hang on, we go this way. Look. If you look, it looks like a little dog. A dog. No. Well, I'm glad no. I'm not one of your pets. No, Three-legged. That, that doesn't look like anything like a dog to me. I'm not seeing it. Sorry, not seeing that one. <laughs> Maybe that's what dogs look like in the 15th century, but not nowadays, John. So that's some some tin, some tin which has been smelling, and some <laughs> copper. Now, none of that is gold, John. We need to go find some gold. That would be very nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, Let's go do it. Let's I, find some gold. I reckon we might do today. Okay. Yeah. So that's just some history on Poldark, Cornish mining, tin, copper, and stuff like that. I found it quite interesting, and the scenery is amazing. It certainly is. So I hope you enjoyed that bit. But yeah, enjoyed this. Thank you very much for bringing me here, John. You're very welcome. If you'd like to donate to Rays of Sunshine, simply click the link in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.